engineer look like? It's a question that's gone viral over the past week. The now is Tara Hall is here with an unconventional answer, right? Yeah, so if you were on Twitter or Facebook over the last week, you likely saw this hashtag, I look like an engineer. What it is, is women engineers taking pictures of themselves in their workplace and explaining what they do while at work. And what they're showing is that there is no such thing as a cookie cutter engineer. It's a campaign that took social media by storm. With the hashtag, I look like an engineer, women engineers gave an inside look at what the designers, innovators, and constructors of the world look like. The reason? To show that engineers come in all races, ages, and genders. It is not a person. It is not the gender. It is definitely not what I wear. It is basically what comes out of here and how it is helping. So I don't think there is a standard or definition of how an engineer should look like. One of them was Vanilla Yadhadi, an electrical engineer. She led the innovation and installation of a microgrid solar panel system on the rooftop of the Black and Veatch Overland Park World Headquarters. When you see that little light turn on on your cell phones or when we see the lights turn on in the innovation pavilion, I know that is my work and I can tell people like, this proof, see, I did that. But it wasn't always this way. That's why when Black and Veatch celebrates its 100th year this week, it'll celebrate not only the strides it's made when it comes to technology, but also the advances it's made to make the workplace equal. Right now, 30% of engineers are women. Black and Veatch wants to see that grow to an even 50-50. You've seen how far we have come across, but from, from here on, it might be exponential. Because even just talking about what I have been working on or since, last 10 years versus what I see now, there's a huge change. A change in not just the products engineers are producing, but also the engineers themselves. All right, and like we said in that, uh, in that package, it is the 100th year anniversary for Black and Beach. Imagine all of the changes that have come over the last 100 years. Yes. Now, employees all around the world are celebrating. They've got 10,000 employees in more than 100 countries. So the party kicked off in Asia, and then as the time zones changed, the party continued. It's now going down today at the Black and Beach headquarters, 4 o'clock to about mm -hmm. 8 o'clock. Are you going there next? Uh, I'm not planning on going there next. I don't feel like I'm, I, I might not fit in with uh, the brainiacs there. Uh, however, I think you do okay. However, really great reason to celebrate. And what they told me is that they're looking forward to the next 100 years, not just in what they'll innovate, but also who they'll bring on board, both men and women. Who knows? Yeah, we'll wait and see. Awesome. Thank you, Tara. Krista? Just for the record, we think Tara would fit in just fine. Yes. <laughs>